And yes, the main event is Malachi Black versus Brock Anderson. It is exactly what they advertised. It is exactly what they told you. It is a mismatch. It is cruel. No athletic commission would have ever allowed this match to have been booked. Malachi takes him apart, kicks him some, punches him a lot more. Arn considers throwing in the towel. Brock begs him not to. Arn throws the towel down on the ground. A terrible mistake. So Alistair kicks Brock in the head. And he's, he just does the, 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 the black mask kick. Spinning super kick to the face. Lays him out. Brock's down dead. He slowly begins to circle the ring. And the crowd is chanting, one more time. One more time. One more time. And Black looks at them. And he just covers the kid and pins him. <laughs> I thought this was so great. Well, I thought that was great. And then when he goes then, to the kick on Arn, oh, and Arn blocks it, and this, everyone gasps. This fucking Arn segment. So Arn is tending to, 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 to Brock. Alistair grabs a chair, but Arn sees Alistair coming. And Arn's never would have been one to back down from a fight. He tells Malachi, throw that chair down. Let's uh, fight you man to man. And Malachi agrees. And the key, the key is Arn Anderson's a baby face, so he's not stupid. The whole world knows that Malachi Black has a kick of death, a spinning roundhouse kick of death. And so he leads off with it, and Arn is prepared, and he blocks it. And as you know, the crowd gasps, oh my god, Arn blocked it. No one's ever blocked this kick before. He could, Maybe he's going to give this guy a lesson. And Malachi Black is totally unmoved. His moves were countered. He doesn't care. He just hauls off and punts Arn to the balls. <laughs> And then as Arn is selling his balls, Malachi hits a spinning kick, kicks his head off. That was even greater. This was so awesome. Yeah, it was greater. It was greater because, well, there's 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 two keys here. Key number one is that they're laying out the legend, but they did not humiliate the legend. The legend was the first guy ever to block that kick. Indeed. They put him over, yes. and Malachi had to punt him in the balls to successfully get his kick. Which also, that and the pinfall when the fans were chanting one more time. This guy's supposed to be a heel, oh, but yes. people love him because he's cool. Yeah. So they are they are deliberately designing things to get him booed. As opposed to just letting him go in there like Britt Baker and just like be wildly cheered. So I liked it. I liked what they yes. did. Oh, I, I love this with all my heart. And then Lee Johnson comes out. I know some people were upset that Malachi Black backed down from Lee Johnson. Listen, Malachi had already beaten up two people. What's the hurry? He can kick this guy's ass next week. So Malachi backed away. That was the end of the show. And uh, we won't bother for the music here, but those of you keeping track of this kind of thing, the bleeders on this show were Matt Hardy a lot. And also Brock Anderson. Yeah, Brock Anderson, man, he's getting punched in the in the body, and uh, and it's just boom, 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 boom. And great. Malachi lets up for one second, but he's only letting up for a split second. But Brock decides now's my chance to slump into the corner. But as he begins to slump, Malachi throws another body shot, which is now a head shot, and fucking he hit him so hard. Yeah, this Brock Anderson's uh, a tough bloke. He's he an just got up and kept going, but he's bleeding all over the place. Yes. So there you go. Yeah, the show was not bad, everybody. I got so here's, many people so mad at me today for my comments on this show. It was a it was a disappointment compared to the show's usual high standards. Yes, yes. It wasn't a bad show. No. It's not like the show is doomed. It's going off the air. It's going to go out of business. It was horrible. It was no. just not up to the usual high standards. It didn't have the usual super great match. It didn't no. have the level of star power it normally has. It's okay to have a, a below average show. It's not the end of the world. Here's, here's the thing. If you told me that in your opinion, that was the worst dynamite of the year, I wouldn't argue with you. I'm not saying that it's my opinion, but I wouldn't argue with your opinion on that one. I would still tell you, however, and I would argue this, it was way better than like half the episodes of NXT I've seen this year. <laughs> so, yes. the Listen, there's a lot of problems to have as a promoter. It is not the worst problem as a promoter to book such high-quality shows on a regular yes. basis <laughs> that if you have one below those standards, people are complaining about it. Like right, There are yes. far worse problems to have. That's a really good problem, in fact. Like losing a lot of money and going out of business. That's worse.
which they're not doing. Your uh, biggest fan says Vinny's Intangibles. <laughs> this should be good. Vinny's Intangibles is that his is intelligent, inspirational, and great will. Brian's Intangibles are Lord. he is a whining, comma, anger, comma, and his genetically jackhammer. Not everyone is a gifted essayist, gifted linguist. We all have our strengths. What are all wordsmiths out there? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.